So in order to test Azure DDoS protection standard, I just created a quick VM here with a public IP address, which is just a WordPress that I have put available on uh, this environment. Uh, inside Azure DDoS protection, everything comes by the public IP address where we see we have all the metrics related to DDoS protection. So I'm going to set first the diagnostic settings that are here for this environment with first the storage account, which I'm going to use for the long term retention of my information. Then I have Event Hub where I'm going to stream live my operational logs. And I also have log analytics for the short term consumption of my operational logs. Here, those uh, long term retentions is where I'm going to put that inside the storage account. So if I go to monitor, same thing, I'm going to see the metrics for the public IP address. And this is where I'm going to find the things that are related to the DDoS state. So I'm selecting here the public IP address and I'm going to have a set of counters that I can use and I can trigger. So here, the most important one is probably this one, the under DDoS or not. So I'm going to pin it to my dashboard and I'm going to add a few more counters which are related to my public IP address. So the DDoS metrics, the inbound bytes, the inbound TCP, the trigger for the TCP uh, session, which is basically the automatically uh, tuned uh, trigger that at some moment in time is for the specific IP, the value which is going to be the trigger for that specific application. So that's the one that we auto tune. So we have all these details here that I can customize and that I wing, I'm going to see uh, later which one I keep and which one are not relevant for my immediate uh, monitoring and operations of my environment. So here we go. I've created this dashboard and I can just do the same thing and pin it to the current dashboard. So right now it's a little bit messy. It has been added at the end of my current dashboard. I can uh, do some reorganization of that later. So let's enable DDoS service in my environment with the DDoS protection plan. I do create, I just specify a name for this guy and I'm going to specify the resource group where I want to create it. So I want to create it in demo DDoS inside Southeast Asia location. And let's go back to this configuration. It's rather fast to apply. But the next step I need to do is then to enable the DDoS protection on a specific VNet. So remember, this is enabled at the VNet level. So we have here our protection, which is right now empty. So go back to the resource group, create the DDoS protection from demo DDoS VNet. So here we have this tab, DDoS protection, specify standard and specify that we want the plan that we just created here. So now automatically, all the public IP addresses which are related to a machine which is connected to this VNet, uh, they're going to be protected automatically and included, as we mentioned, in uh, the plan is 100 public IP address. So once we have that configured, we can now have the protection which is effective for this IP address. So if we go to breaking point on the cloud, as you mentioned, that's the uh, service that we um, offer in order to test the environment against DDoS. So here what we can do is input the IP address of this environment, select the type of attack that we want to simulate. So we have a bunch that we can select from. So TCP SYN fluid, I'm going to use it here for 10 minutes at 50 megabits per second from four different source IP address. So you see that right now it's validating and then it's queuing because the first step of validation is to verify that I'm testing an IP address, which is from within my subscription. So I'm not trying to uh, create some traffic from someone else. So it's validating that it's really uh, me and my subscription from my IP address, which is uh, authorized. In the meantime, we can create some alerts within Azure uh, environment. So I can use Azure Monitor. And out of Azure Monitor, that's where I have the possibility to create alerts on metrics that I see on my public IP address. So remember, as we see previously, there's one metric which is called under DDoS attack or not. So if I create that, I can specify if it's greater or equal to one, then I'm going to basically send um, an alert. 
And I can see here that the action can be or no email. And well, we can specify all type of action that we want. So here we can put an email, we can put all sorts of push notification on the application. We can also chain that with a logic app to trigger some thing, some intelligent action within my subscription. But for now, just an email uh, alert would do. I do done, I specify the text for this uh, alert and the detail, I specify the severity, I want it to be categorized and then the alert is uh, created in my environment. If I go back, you will see that the simulation has run with those parameters. I've tuned a little bit my dashboard here and you can see that, yes, we had the under the DOS flag that has been put for a little while. With this traffic and this little bit of our CPU activity that we had at the beginning, and we had this amount of bits created. I can also review my configuration of Security Center and I can review that in the Security Alert section. Yes, there has been a DDoS attack that has been detected on this public IP address. So here that uh, when we had this happening, uh, this IP address and from uh, this environment, we see that the attack has been mitigated. So no hurt has been caused uh, during uh, this uh, test to my production environment as we just catch uh, the TCP SYN attack come in. We can get more insights into the attack as well by going through the Log Analytics workspace. So in Log Analytics, we have the flow logs that we can check out of the workspace uh, summary. And we can see that here we have this uh, diagram in these flow logs where we see that we had two, two IPs that were under mitigation. So the DDoS protection mechanisms come into the game. So we have this flow coming from those four IP uh, addresses. We have this amount of packets that has been uh, dropped and we can see that the vulnerability or let's say the threat that we've seen was coming from TCP violation uh, packet and the amount of drop packet per IP address. And we can go of course into the detail of the logs here with log analytics and we can see the source port, source IP address that we use and the type of violations that we detected from here. So that's it, automatic protection and all kind of alerts and insight on the threats and how they have been mitigated.